What we're leaving after the project is cleaner Thames. There won't be so much sewage in it and it's going to be better for the future generations. I'm hoping to drop this TVM in and then start tunnelling, start some of the power work. The site is a TBM drive site, so we'll be lowering the TBM today. A lot of planning has gone into it in terms of temporary works, getting consents from the Environment Agency, because we've got a lot of um, sensitive structures around here in regards to the river wall. So we're here today at Dormay Street for the lowering of our TBM. All TBMs are named after female people, and ours is called Charlotte. And it's going to be lowered down and be prepared, ready to start its first drive. Well, this will be the first uh, TBM on the west to be dropped into the ground. We have a 500 tonne crane on site, which is going to be lifting the TBM segments. One is the cutting face, which has kind of claws in the front and will rotate, and that's what excavates the tunnel when we get going. And the other is a segment that slots in behind it. We've already made a little launch chamber, about 20 metres of tunnel, so that the TBM segments can go and slot in, because the whole TBM will be too long to just lower it into the shaft and start tunnelling from there. Today's been a momentous day for the project. We've seen the movement of Rachel, our tunnel boring machine, who's made her way down from adjacent to our offices into the acoustic shed, ready to start tunneling in a couple of months' time. Fantastic day that a lot of work's gone into, and I'm delighted to see how well it's gone. Yeah, it's been an amazing day. The TBM has been moved down to the shed. I think they're just checking it over to make everything safe and secure to drop it down the shaft, and then they'll get it into the sling ready to go down. I'm really happy to work on this exciting project and I can't wait to see this TBM on the ground. Down within the shed, there's an awful lot of lifting equipment that's being prepared to uh, ensure that we can gently lower that TBM to the bottom of the shaft tomorrow to ensure that uh, we can start tunneling on time. Seeing Rachel move across the site yesterday and then down the shaft today is an absolutely brilliant day. We're just to the east of Curtley Street here, between Curtley Street and Albert, on the south bank of the Thames. The most interesting thing about Heathwall is the size of it. It's tiny. We're building out a new foreshore and we've got two shafts to intercept two different sewers. So we've got a pumping station interception shaft here, which is going down about 35 metres. And that then is connected for our tunnel to our main combined sewer outflow tunnel. Uh, that's about 55 metres deep and will form the, the connection to the main tunnel under the Thames. So once this is complete, all this area will be paved over and this will be new public foreshore area. The great thing about the team here is it's small and everybody knows each other really well. We all get on well and we have a good working relationship. 